Hey guys, it's LBS Honey and welcome back to a new video. As you all know, I'm an advocate for finding LBS accessories and furniture for cheap, not only for LBS tube videos, but also for just creating cute displays for your collection. I've made tons of videos about it, so when Timu reached out to me asking to collaborate with me to show off some of their amazing furniture items you can get for super cheap, I absolutely jumped at the opportunity. You may have seen fellow LBS tubers like Sugar Diamond collaborate with them, so I was super excited to try it out for myself. Timu had actually been on my radar for a while, not only for their accessories, but I also saw LPS on their website, so I was really curious to see what that was all about. So today, we're going to be taking a look at LPS from Timu, as well as a bunch of accessories and furniture items that they sent to me. They also included a special link for you guys, which will be in the description, as well as a pinned comment, and a discount code for your first order. So make sure you take advantage of that, because the savings are kind of crazy. But let's get into the package. They sent me two absolutely massive packages in the mail. I was kind of surprised at how big they are and inside of it was four bags or three bags and a box if we're being specific. Here is a look at them. Like this took up like half of my filming room. It was kind of crazy. But let's start off with these small accessories and work our way up. Oh my god, okay. Um, so here's all of the smaller accessories and I believe the LBS is in here as well. And I will make sure to put prices on screen because some of these items are like ridiculously cheap for what they are. So let's start off with some of these smallest items in this package. And that is these little miniature candles. These are so cute. Here's a size comparison with my mascot, so they're absolutely perfect for LPS. They came in a pack of two and obviously had measurements on Timu's website, so I knew that they would fit my LPS. But I'm honestly so surprised at these. I love that the little fire is like semi-transparent. It's so pretty. I am honestly going to go back and buy some more because these are adorable. And I did get these for my Halloween videos because I do have some candles already, but they're homemade and so scrankly looking. Like there's my attempt at making a candle. I think we can all agree that the Timu one looks better. The fact that mine doesn't even have a wick or a flame. Yeah, I, I definitely got shown up here. Next up is this little crown. I am in love with this accessory. <laughs> I wasn't too sure when I got this if it was actually going to fit my LPS well or not, but I am so blown away. Like, how cute does my mascot look? I'm a little queen. Here it is on a G2 LPS, because I'm sure you guys are wanting to know what that looks like. They also had a silver version, I believe, on their website but I absolutely am in love with this gold version. I don't know if it's metal or plastic, but whatever it's made out of is really solid. Next up is this little vending machine. This is actually a little bit smaller than I had expected, but I still think it's a pretty good size. Like you can still definitely use it for your LPS. It's taller than my mascot. The details on this is really cute. You can see all the different drinks inside, but it's also operational. Meaning an actual drink comes out of the machine when you press the button. The first step is to press this button on the front here where the drink will kind of fall down. Then you pull this little lever on the side. And there you have it, your tiny little can of drink. I love this, the interactability of it is so cool. They had a few different designs on their website, um, but it is sent by random, I believe. So this is the design I got, and I'm definitely happy with it. Next up is something for the horror fans. So I got this TV keychain. They had a few different designs, so you could choose what was on display on the screen. Um, and it looks cool, like as it is, I love the static effect. It's like, oh yeah, that's a cool looking horror TV. But what's really awesome about this is that it turns on. But if you press this little top button here, just let me show you guys. Once again, here's a size comparison. How freaking cool is that? I don't know if the other designs play different sounds or if they all play that static effect, but that is so freaking cool. It flashes, it plays the sound. How creepy would that be in an LPS video? Like you're sitting there watching TV and then boom. 
It's just such a unique little horror accessory. Next up are these little pot plants. I think these are really cool. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed. I mean, you probably have, but I like adding plants to my backgrounds in videos. I think it adds a nice little touch, makes it feel more homely when you're doing house scenes. I have quite a few fake plants that I use in my videos, but not a lot in actual like little pot planters. So it's cool to have some that can be stored inside or outside. She's here. Ooh, you know what? I'm not mad about it. So here she is, and I'm kind of impressed. Obviously this isn't an authentic Littlest Pet Shop, but as far as fakes and aftermarkets go, she's actually really good. This is another fake LBS from my collection, and as you can see, this one is just a higher quality. A fake LBS can be a little controversial in the community, but I think if you want to buy fake LBS because you can't afford the real thing, and you're happy with that, and that makes you happy and you enjoy it, go ahead. Like, I completely get it. This collie right here, at this point, I'm going to buy the aftermarket version of it because I cannot afford the real version of it. So pets like these have given me and so many collectors an opportunity to get designs that they can't really afford. That being said, I'm pleasantly surprised with this short hair cat's quality. Like, I didn't know what to think going into this because I don't really have many fake pets. But it's really good. It has like the little logo on the ear. Um, I believe this pet is meant to have a magnet, but of course this version does not. The eyes are glossy. The head is white sturdy which I'm really surprised by and overall the paint jobs just really good you know I'm brutally honest when it comes to fake pets and this is a really good one I believe they also sold some collies and dragons on Timu so if that's something you're interested in definitely check them out um, because I'd recommend this if you're somebody who wants to get this black short haired cat but can't find the authentic or find it too expensive this is a great alternative, honestly. I'm about to show you guys the next accessories, which is this Mac computer set. It comes with the keyboard and mouse, all separate pieces. But then I realized something really cool. The monitor, like, moves. I don't know how well my camera is going to pick it up, but I think you guys can see it changing. If you've seen it in real life, you know what it is. It kind of has that scratchy kind of feel to it. And it's so cool. I've honestly never seen a small accessory like this use this kind of material to make something look like it's moving. I I'm kind of blown away. Like, I, I got this computer thinking that it was just like a stagnant image, but the fact that it moves is just so freaking cool. The back of the monitor is surprisingly detailed as well. And the keyboard has every single key printed on it. I love little surprises like this. Like, the screen moving has completely taken me off guard. I am entranced right now. Next up is this chalkboard. It's actually a pretty good size. I've tried to use dull chalkboards in the past, but they're always just a bit too big for my LPS. It looks really cool, but my only downside for this is that the back leg is very wobbly, so it is a bit finicky and it's prone to kind of like sliding around a bit. Other than that, I like the design. I like that you can actually remove the whole board from the ear. There are two different designs you can get. I got this one here, um, but I'm actually planning to paint over it and just keep it as a fully black chalkboard and then I can just kind of edit onto whatever I want. Next up are some little pots and pans and these really took me by surprise. Most kitchen accessories, especially in this kind of size range, are usually made out of a cheap plastic material, which is nothing new. These are made out of metal. Listen to this. These are solid. I could use these as like LPS self-defense mechanisms. They're really cool and a great size for my pets. I could just imagine my pets cooking up some eggs and bacon, baking some cookies, and I probably could do that because these are metal. I could, I could probably cook an egg on these. I, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Don't listen to me, but it would be a funny idea. The next item I got isn't an accessory. It's kind of a DIY item, and that is a bag of leaves. They had a few different colors. I got the autumn design, and that's because I've really been into making like foliage and my own terrains for LPS videos, and this is really going to help bring it to life. Having a bunch of fallen leaves on a muddy trail is much better looking than just having a painted brown line. So I'm really hoping to use these in some craft 
props to make some better kind of backgrounds and sets for my LPS videos. This next item is going back to my spooky heritage and that is this little fireplace. They had a few different color variations. I chose dark green because I thought it was kind of unique and you can open the little like grates at the front to see the logs inside. But what's really cool about this is that the fire lights up. Just turn this little switch on underneath and voila. I'd say it's a good size for LPS. Not too big, but not too small either. So works perfectly. Got yourself a toasty, roasty little fireplace. Perfect for spooky videos or Christmas themes if you're into that. Continuing with the horror themes, what is inside this box has got me so excited. <gasps> They're individually bobble wrapped. Hello, detail. I got a bunch of miniature gravestones. The detail on these is quite amazing. I really didn't expect this kind of quality. I don't think these are metal in particular, but they are extremely solid. I can just imagine my LPS like walking through a spooky haunted graveyard. These are amazing. I love how every single one is a different design as well. They could have easily have just copied and pasted like the same standard kind of gravestone over and over again, but they all look different like a real cemetery would. I also got these little miniature axes and like hatchets for my LPS. I think maybe the ends of them are a type of a thin metal. They're not sharp at all, but they do feel cold like metal. I don't know if they are or not, but even if they're not, they're definitely made out of a pretty good quality. Some of them are uh, a bit tall for LPS, but it's pretty much just wood. You could very easily cut it down to LPS size. Other designs, like this one, it fit perfectly. It was a set of three, and I'm definitely not disappointed with them, but I will be doing some slight modifications to fit my LPS a bit better, especially with the giant one. The last Halloween-themed item I got are these little spooky guys. I just thought they were absolutely adorable. They had so many variations of them on Timu's website. They had some that were more like traditional Halloween colors like orange pumpkins and black bats and white ghosts. But this set here really caught my eye because it showed them glowing in the dark which I thought was a very unique feature, especially to have in an LPS video if you're filming at night. Obviously, haven't tried these out yet, and it is daytime currently, so I will need to record and insert a clip here. So if they do glow, um, here it is. I hope they're glowing. If not, um, it'll be a little disappointing, but not too much, because I mean, they're cute either way. Even if they don't glow, they look adorable. So behind me is something a little different, and I actually got some doll accessories, because if you follow me on Instagram, I've been very much into the Monster High reboot. They kind of relaunched their dolls, kind of like what LPS is doing. So the world is definitely healing right now when it comes to collectibles. And because of that, while I was looking for all these accessories for my LPS, LPS, I stumbled across a few doll accessories as well that I wanted to try out because Timu has such a wide range of items. I thought, hey, why not? So I got a little winter outfit as well as some fishnets and I'll put their prices on screen respectively. And we're just going to try them out on my Abby Abominable Monster High doll. I also got a pack of doll stands because if you collect Monster High dolls, the current generation doesn't come with stands anymore, as you know. So it's a bit disappointing, but I heard and saw that these stands fit Monster High dolls. So we're also going to try these out. I just thought they were cool. They had pink and white. White was sold out when I got mine, but they are available again. So definitely check them out if you want to find some stands for your dolls. Here she is on display with this stand. Um, the stand is great. It comes in three pieces and just clicks together with the back part supporting the waist of the doll. And it is adjustable, so depending on the height of your doll, you can just slide it up and down to get the perfect fit. I am new to the world of dolls, so please excuse my posing if it's not the best. But I just wanted to show how well she kind of fits into it. The dress is so thick, it took me a few tries to get her in there. But once she's in, she is stable and looking great. The fishnets just look killer, let's be honest. Overall, if you're into doll collecting, Timu's a great option for accessories, stands, and clothes. They have a wide range of all of them, 
and I really recommend it for Monster High specifically because that's the doll I'm familiar with. Now that we've had a look at all the amazing smaller accessories I got from Timu, let's take a look at the larger furniture packs as well as storage options for my LPS that I was able to get. When I tell you guys I think I found the perfect LPS display case, I am not kidding. This thing is amazing. So let's take a look. So let's talk about all this. So the first of the bigger packs they sent me was this bedroom set. I remember them having multiple different rooms like lounge rooms, kitchens, bathrooms, etc. So you could really make a whole house with this furniture if you wanted to. The box did get a little wombo comboed in the mail but I'm hoping everything's fine inside. Here's everything that was in the box. I'm not even lying when I say I'm pretty impressed with the quality of this bedroom set. I wasn't expecting a lot but I gotta say, this is really good for the price. You get some cute accessories, even wearable ones for your LPS. Everything's pretty sturdy and I really like the colors that they chose to use. The mirror is semi-reflective and even the little drawer opens. Pillow and blanket are actual fabric and pretty thick as well. I'd recommend it if you need a good starting base for a bedroom for your LPS videos and I'd recommend checking out their other sets as well. Like I mentioned, they have lounge rooms and kitchens and all that good stuff as well as furniture packs with smaller accessories like food. And speaking of miniature sets, we have this miniature scene which is a little cat room. I thought it looked so cute with the cat tower, the little litter box and everything. And I just thought it would make a cute display for some of my LPS. On the back it does show you other designs that they do which all look pretty cute. I especially love this little like piano room. Okay so this is fully a kit that you assemble. I didn't realize how many pieces this came with. I'm going to quickly set up our little cat room off screen and then show you what it looks like all put together. It took me a little while but I got there in the end. Here is our little cat room. The design inside is slightly different to what's on the box but it's still super adorable and pretty straightforward to put together. I like the inclusion of some little stickers here and there and the smaller accessories included as well. My only gripe about this whole thing is that there's zero instructions so you're really just going off the image on the box which is slightly different to what you get. So it can be a little confusing, but overall you can put it together pretty simply. I can definitely see this becoming my new little like TikTok or YouTube room where I do my update videos or just chat to you guys. So I really like the size of it and the colors, so I'm pretty happy with it. I really hope they stock the other rooms as well because they have a dog one and it would be so cute to have the dog and cat rooms next to each other. Okay, next one is something a little silly, I gotta admit. So if you ever wanted to match with your LPS, well now you can, thanks to Timu. <laughs> So I got this cute little cat mirror for my LPS. It's actually metal and the mirror does work. Hello! It came with this tiny little metal hairbrush as well which is pretty cute. Now if you're like me, your mascot kind of represents yourself or the kind of persona of your channel and I thought hey, there's real size versions of these mirrors on Timu. Why not match with my mascot? Boom! Enter your own version of the cat mirror. Isn't it cool guys? Like it's a one to one little model of the LPS sized version. You literally match with your mascot. They have a pink version on Timu's website which can identically match this pink version as well as the purple version that I got. And it also lights up which is really cool and handy for doing your makeup or just getting ready in the morning. I think it's adorable and I'm so glad that I was able to get a larger version to match my LPS. Maybe it's goofy but I just think it's really cute to be able to match with your mascot. Okay I got two more items from Timu. These last two are the biggest and probably my two favorite, I'm not gonna lie. So let's start off with a amazing display case for your LPS. Tell me this isn't one of the coolest LPS display cases you've seen. This display case is actually made for miniatures so it is perfect for LPS. You get three shelves pre-installed, protected by a plastic door with a magnet to keep it closed. 
The door simply pulls open and you have access to all your shelves, which obviously has plenty of room for LPS. And when you're done, you simply close it up. It fits perfectly in these IKEA shelves, but if you don't want it displayed on a desk or in a shelf, you can actually hang this up on a wall. At the back of the case is this square, and included inside the box is this bracket and these little sticky pads to apply it and hang it up on your wall if that's what you want to do. It's a great option if you want to show off your collection but don't have a lot of space, you can just hang it up on your wall. Or if you're like me, you can put them on your shelves and display your more rare LPS inside so it doesn't get covered in dust and dirty, they're nice and secure and they ain't gonna go anywhere. So many display cases don't come with a door and if they do, they're definitely more of a sliding door which can be pretty hard to kind of maneuver with LPS. So I absolutely love that this one comes with a magnetic closing mechanism so you don't even have to worry about it. They had different colors available. I got the white version and I'm definitely going to get some more. These are amazing. They fit perfectly and I am really hoping to fill up more of my shelves with these displays for my LPS. I really can't recommend this enough. If I had to choose a favorite item from my package from Timu, this would probably be it. And the very last item. So if you follow my personal Instagram, you know I'm a bit of a Sanrio girly and you've probably seen it on my channel already when I show off Hello Kitty items or squishies. I've been a Hello Kitty fan for quite a while and Sanrio specifically. I love Pom Pom Purin and Cinnamon Roll and all that. And surprisingly, Timu has quite a big range of Sanrio items. So I knew I had to get something to satisfy the Sanrio girly within. And when I saw this next item and I tell you I literally freaked, I'm not joking. Say hello to the Hello Kitty LED mirror. Can I just say how adorable this is? I saw some reviews of it on Timu and I knew I had to try it out for myself. The mirror is actually quite large but not too big where it takes up way too much space. I love how they made the bow pink and made the two different colored LED lights. I just think it adds so much. It has a brightness control as well as an on off switch. So if you don't like the LED feature, you don't have to use it. But I do recommend it because it illuminates everything so nicely. It also comes with some pre-installed screw holes. So you can attach this to your wall and it does come with the screws as well. It is adorable. I highly recommend it. It's USB powered and comes with an easy to use switch as well. Being a Sanrio fan is so fun in current times, like there's so much cool stuff out there for us. And with that beautiful mirror, that concludes everything I got from Tumu. I am honestly blown away. I was quite impressed with the items fellow LPS tubers like Sugar Diamond got, but seeing them for myself, I can definitely say that I am a fan. There were so many cheap items for my LPS and also some really cute items to help with displaying my collection and kind of making little scenes. I definitely recommend you guys give them a try and a link to download the app is in the description down below as well as my discount code which will get you a discount off your first purchase just make sure you guys check out the description because everything you need to know will be down below thank you again so much to Timu for sending me these items and allowing me to show them to you guys I am really really excited and happy to get some of these items and I can't wait to use them in future videos. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like always, please don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe and check out Timu because they are a website that is <laughs> full of cheap, affordable, amazing accessories for your LPS and LPS kind of as well. <laughs> okay, that's all. Bye guys!